Okay, in this video, we're gonna be talking about number one from the 2025 Calc A, B, and B, C exams. Uh, it is like a, I don't know, interpreting rates type of question, but it's also calculator. Let's take a look. Uh, so we've got uh, an invasive species appears in a fruit grove uh, and begins to spread. The function C is given as 7.6 arc 10.2 T, models the number of acres in the fruit grove affected by the species T weeks after the species appears. It can be shown that C prime is 38 over 25 plus T squared. All right, part A. Find the average number of acres affected by the species from T equals zero to T equals four, show the setup. So average value, uh, average number rather, is gonna be the average value of the um, function that uh, gives acres. So it models the number of acres. So it's the average value of C of T on the interval from uh, zero to four. So that's integral divided by interval. So um, for A, I'm going to say that it's the integral from 0 to 4 of C of T, and then divided by 4 minus 0. This is a calculator question, so I went to my calculator, I punched this in, um, and I got approximately 2.778 acres. You're not required to put units on this because they tell you it will be in acres. Um, all right, let's look at B. Find the time T when the instantaneous rate of change, uh, that's the derivative, is equal to the average rate of change, that's the algebra one slope, on the time interval from zero to four, show the setup. So we're just gonna write down that we need uh, the instantaneous, so C prime, to be equal to the algebra one slope, which is gonna be C of four minus C of zero, and then divided by four minus zero. And then again, it's calculator, so here's the screen from the calculator, and I got uh, approximately 2.154. All right, and that's what we got there. Let's take a look at the next part. Um, assume that the invasive species, I have a lot of trouble saying that word, uh, continues to spread according to the model given for all t greater than zero. Write a limit expression that describes the end behavior of the rate of change. So it's the rate of change that we're dealing with this time, and that's just gonna be, um, so we want end behavior, and uh, it's the rate of change, which is C prime. So. We're looking for the end behavior of C prime. This is pretty weird. Uh, that's just gonna be the limit as T approaches infinity of um, C prime of T. And then uh, I didn't even use a calculator on this. This is definitely gonna give you zero because it's uh, you know, a constant divided by a quadratic. The quadratic is definitely gonna win. Uh, so those are, I think, just free points unless everyone who did the problem is interpreting it incorrectly. Um, so there you go. Uh, let's take a look at part D. So at t equals four, uh, the thing appears in the fruit grove. Measures are taken to counter the spread. Oh, t, ap, t four weeks after it shows up. Um, we're gonna try to counter it now. So the function a defined by a of t equals c of t minus the integral from four to t of 0 0.1 natural log of x dx models the number of acres affected by the species over the time interval from four to 36. At what time between four and 36 does A attain its maximum value? This is an absolute maximum question. I'm going to use the candidates test, but I'm also going to um, write up the solution using the lonely critical point theorem because it turns out that there is only one uh, critical point. So candidates test, uh, I'm going to start off by saying that the function is continuous because we need that if we're going to use the candidates test. So we're continuous on four to 36. Therefore, by the candidates test, the absolute max is going to be at either an end point or a critical point. So I need to find the critical points. Well, that's going to be when a prime is equal to zero on the interval from four to 36. Um, so I defined the function and then I found the derivative. Um, and then what I did was I uh, graphed it. So uh, a prime of t equals zero. Uh, I'm going to end up getting 11.442. Uh, I both graphed it and I used solve. Um, so we're going to need... Uh, a table of value, I guess I didn't put in the screenshot of that, I definitely took a screenshot of that, I don't know where it went. Um, so we got a, uh, a critical point of 11.442 and we need to evaluate at 11.442. So I stored the value of um, T where, uh, where A prime was equal to zero, I stored it as uh, XC, which is how I like to store those things. Um, we evaluate A of T at all three of the points at four, at 11.442, and at 36. And, you know, we get these values. So 5.128, 7.3, 7.3, 7.3, 7.3, 7.3, 7.3, 7.3, 7.3, 7.3, 7.3, 7.3, 7.3, 7.3, 7.3, 7.3, 7.3, 7.3
1.317 and 1.743. And uh, so you can see that the biggest value occurs at 11.442. Now, uh, so that's the absolute maximum and we're done. When I graphed this thing or when I used solve, I saw there was actually only one critical point on the interval. So an alternative solution to this, which is actually my preferred solution, would be to say a prime changes from positive to negative at t equals 11.442. Therefore, a of t has a relative maximum at t equals 11.442. Now, since 11.442 is the only critical point and a of t has a relative maximum there, a of t also has its absolute maximum at 11.442. That's actually my preferred way of answering the question, but people don't really like it when I use that. So I decided to do candidate test first because I think most people will have done that. And then I also wanted to share that solution. Um, I apologize that I didn't put the screenshot in of where I found uh, you know, the critical points, but all I did was find A prime and graph it and uh, you know, set it equal to zero. So that's the whole thing. Uh, not a bad question. I hope this was helpful and good luck.